いいえいいえかぐや様に直接お渡しするのが欲しいかとでも会長だどうして会長がいるのいやそうえ,え今日からうちに住むの聞いてない住まない住まないか If you're an anime fan and you've been on YouTube, I'm sure you've come across many different channels dedicated to posting anime scenes. Just like any genre of YouTube, these channels run the gamut from those who casually post a scene here and there to those who will post an entire anime series in the form of 30 second clips. Now, I think we can all agree it takes Machiavellian levels of ingenuity to download and repost an anime scene. But this video isn't about their turbo creativity. No, this video is about the bizarre claims of ownership that have seemingly become the norm in this community of reposters. I'm going to tell you about the head scratching, cancer inducing subculture of YouTube that is the anime scene reposters. So, the lore of this epic story begins about two years ago. Times were different back then. England was a city, S stood for many things, fidgets were spinning. And I was making anime cracks instead of having a life. Back then, I used to look to anime scene posting channels for potential clips to use in new anime cracks, especially those from anime that I haven't watched before. While I was making the greatest content known to mankind, I noticed that some of the channels began to place watermarks on the scenes they were posting. At the time, it didn't really matter for the purposes of what I was doing, but something about seeing a channel stamp on an unedited anime scene. Left me with the taste of anime CGI in my mouth. However, at that time it seemed like channels that did that actually got criticized for what they were doing. And that's the end of the story you're thinking. But no. Like an anime protagonist finding out his sister is not blood related, things were about to get a lot more interesting. It seems this shameless act of ownership would gain traction, and soon, other reposters would do the same thing. Within no time, these channels stepped up their efforts to become the dominant anime scene reposter. How was this feat accomplished, you ask? By watermarks. More and more watermarks. But, Rev, isn't it enough to shamelessly yeet your watermark in the corner of the frame? No. You have to adapt. You have to put that watermark everywhere to the point where it is completely unavoidable. You must send a clear message to the viewer. That you are the one who downloaded the scene and reposted it on YouTube. You have to let all the peasants know that you are the alpha. You are the dominant reposter. When people watch any anime, they're gonna think of you and your legacy of innovation and creativity. You must realize that not all heroes wear capes, some re upload anime scenes like brain dead potatoes. To summarize, without their contributions, The anime industry would be nothing. Indeed, the entire world would be nothing. So I humbly ask you when you see a brave anime scene reposter stamping their brand on someone else's content, to give these people the credit they deserve. Make sure you thank them for taking the time out of their busy schedules to yeet watermarks all over our favorite anime. Yeah, I hate these channels. Who cares if you're just uploading anime scenes, but it's another thing to take measures to protect your work. It's pathetic. That's the end of this video. I'll see you guys next time.